In a dense, shadowy forest, the Terminator sprinted through the undergrowth, its sensors buzzing with the presence of a relentless enemy. The sky above was dark and brooding, rain falling in heavy sheets. Behind him, the Predator pursued with relentless determination, its cloaking device flickering against the storm's chaos. The chase led them to a cave hidden behind a waterfall. Inside, the cavern was lined with grotesque trophies, skulls of fallen warriors. The Terminator quickly scanned the area, identifying potential traps and exits, knowing that the Predator's hunting skills were honed in such environments. The Predator attacked from the shadows, its spear narrowly missing the Terminator's head. The Terminator retaliated with precise gunfire, forcing the Predator to retreat into the depths of the cave. And today, I'm going to show you how to create viral, monetizable AI animation videos using some of the best tools out there. Whether you're a content creator, animator, or just someone curious about AI, this guide will walk you through the entire process step by step. But before we begin, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to this channel. You will not regret doing so. So let's begin. Step one, generate your script, scenes, and images using ChatGPT. The first step in creating an amazing animation video is to develop a strong script and visuals. Here's how to do it using ChatGPT. Define your concept. Start by outlining the main idea or theme of your video. Is it a story, an educational piece, or something entertaining? Knowing your goal will help guide the script. Open ChatGPT and input a prompt outlining your video concept. For example, write a short story on Terminator and Predator. Add scenes of caves, forest, old building, broken bridge, and water make it intriguing. 250 words. Must have a place where predators were chasing after the Terminator. And there you have it. Terminator vs Predator. Clash of Titans. You would see the generated script below. And usually it is advisable to read through to check if there is anything you wish to add or remove. I continued by asking ChatGPT to do the following. According to the six paragraphs generated, write a script for the scenes. So as we scroll up, we are going to see the generated scenes according to each paragraph. And then I asked ChatGPT to generate the prompts for each scene. And there you have it. And afterwards, I asked it to generate the images for each scene. And if we scroll up, we would be able to see the images generated by ChatGPT respectively. But then I realized that I wasn't getting what I needed. And then I decided to ask ChatGPT to rewrite the story in 10 chapters, making each chapter 100 words long. So let's scroll up and see. And the next thing was for ChatGPT to generate the scene for chapter one. Now, the reason I did this is because if you ask ChatGPT to generate the scenes or images for the entire chapters, for instance, chapter one to chapter 10, it could just generate an image most times for each chapter, but if you ask it to generate the scenes for a particular chapter, it could generate two or more scenes, there generating several images for the scenes of a particular chapter. I do hope this is clear enough. So Haven done that. Let us scroll up and see the scenes for chapter one respectively. The next thing would be to ask ChatGPT to generate the images for chapter one according to the scenes generated. And that is what we can see here. It doesn't only generate the images, but also adds the prompts of the images with it, in a way. This is very important because we would be needing it when animating our images. I did the same for chapter 2 as well. It generated the scenes for chapter 2 and also generated the images according to my command. And that is how you can maximize this to your utmost desire. And if we scroll up, we are going to see the different images generated by following the step I just showed us. Also note that you can ask ChatGPT to refine the generated script to expand or adjust sections as needed. You can focus on dialogue, scene descriptions, or even specific lines. It is left to you. Now that we have been able to generate our script and images, the next thing would be to go ahead to generate our voiceover. Step two, generate the voiceover. There are many options available, such as Google Text to Speech, Amazon Polly, or Murph AI. Choose one that suits your style and needs. But the one I will be using today is called Vidnos AI Tool. And you can get that using the link in the description below. When you click the link, it's going to bring you here to their homepage. Make sure to register and then when done, it will bring you here. 
click on generate free video now and you could just scroll through to check out this AI tool and on your left hand side here you have home template avatar clone voice and many more options when you scroll up you're going to find a place to upload your image if you want maybe for your avatar the next thing would be to click on the AI tool by your left hand side here and then you would see the AI talking avatar and AI text to speech click on the AI text to speech when it opens up come back to chat GPT and then copy the written script of 250 words. Come back to Vidno's AI text to speech and paste it in there. Click on the drop down where you see Monica and there you would see several AI voices to choose from. Choose your preferred voice. Move to the next option to choose the tone or pitch of the voice you chose. When done, you could either increase or decrease the pace of the voice by using the add or minus sign here. When done, click on generate and it would take you to another page. All you need to do is to click on download by clicking on the download button here and there you have it your voice is ready step three animate images using kling ai now it's time to bring your images to life with kling ai one thing i like about kling ai is that it is cheap and very affordable so as creators you could try to use this often i made a video on kling ai versus luma labs i think it would be very good for you to go watch that video and decide for yourself which is good for your content creation. But in all, it all boils back to decision. To animate with Kling AI, just upload your image to the image to video section here. Go back to ChatGPT to copy the prompt of the image you are animating. Download the image and head over to Kling to upload the image, after which you paste in the prompt of the image. This is good for a better generation. Scroll up and make sure the negative prompts are imputed. Let me pause this for a while for us to see. Click on generate and wait for your image to be animated. Do this for all your images as well and you are sure to have a very good output. Step 4. Get sound effects and background music. Sound effects and background music are amazing ways to add engagement to your video. There are several places to get your sound from but I will be using Pixabay. When you get to Pixabay, by the right hand side of your search box, you would see options to choose whatever it is you want to do based on your choice. You have images, illustrations, vectors, videos, music, sound effects and so on. We are going to be selecting the sound effect option and from there we could search any sound effect from the search box by just typing in there. This was my previous search gunshot and as you scroll you are going to see several options. Click on play and listen to each one accordingly and then download the one you think is preferable by you. So I could type in rain here and then you would have several options to choose from. Also, we could type in explosion, scroll up and choose from the many options you have below. Step five, finalize your video using CapCut. The final step is to bring everything together in a cohesive video using CapCut. Import media, load all animated scenes, voiceovers, sound effects and music into CapCut. Organize them in the timeline according to your script. Edit and refine. Trim and adjust clips to ensure smooth transitions between scenes. Add text overlays, subtitles, or additional visual effects as needed. Review and export. Watch the entire video to ensure everything flows well and is polished. Make any final tweaks before exporting your project in the desired format and resolution. Optimize for YouTube. Consider adding a catchy thumbnail and video title. Optimize your video description and tags for better visibility and engagement. And there you have it. By following these steps, you can create a viral and monetizable AI animation video using tools like ChatGPT, Kling AI, and CapCut. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.